Oh, I have not been looking forward to this thing. The GS45. This game's version of the Mustang and Sally. The incredibly powerful explosive pistol. However, since I need headshots, I'm not allowed to pack a punch it for 2,000 kills. Or 2,000 headshots. And on top of that, the 300 hipfire kills, which would be incredibly easy with the explosive version, is, uh, it's bugged. I, uh, I gotta do that on Pack-A-Punch, too. Basically, this entire camo grind is gonna be without Pack-A-Punch. Yay. Oh, yeah, I also got myself a gobblegum pack to help with the grind. Stock options, so I have, like, an infinite magazine, because it'll just pull from my reserve. Uh, Killjoy for insta-kill if I need it. Free fire, so I just have unlimited ammo temporarily, and then these two are just miscellaneously there, because you need five gobblegums to actually have a gobblegum pack can't just spawn in with one and guarantee you get perkaholic you know what i'll do the rampage inducer too why not this gun sounds beefy it just sounds good okay so it hits a little harder than the nine millimeter but not being able to pack a bunch of it is going to be freaking rough I wonder what round I can realistically go to with it. Just 11 and Xville, maybe? Oh, the blue teddy bear is just the teddy bear of this game. And let's be real, that looks way cooler than the original teddy bear. We'll see if I want to leave the rampage inducer on and attempt an Xville, or just try Xville or not. I'm sure I'll mix it up with a couple things, because this is going to take me like four to five hours, probably. Like I'm at 33 crits. <laughs> this gun might actually just take two days. I'll leave rampage inducer on and see how it goes for this game. And if it goes really poorly, I'll turn it off after like round five for the next one. I'm just gonna see how far I can get with this thing with no attachments or anything. With full rampage inducer the whole time. Okay. Rampage inducer is not gonna work. I can already see it. I am gonna need attachments though. This is gonna be rough. Wait a minute. Aren't there like universal attachments in this game? Couldn't I have put stuff on that I unlocked from other guns? Like some scopes from the other pistols? I, I think I'm dumb. So I, I think I'm just throwing right now. I guess I'll see when I die. And with the Rampage Inducer, that's uh, that's gonna be pretty soon. My god, this thing's garbage already. I wanna pack punch it so bad, but I can't. They, they had to have done it on purpose, right? Like, they know how beloved the Mustang and Sally's are in the zombies community. They know people freaking love those things. And they're so good. So they just had to torture you. Okay, so that's 100 kills. So I just need to uh, do that 20 more times. Oh my God, they're able to hit me while I'm shooting them. This is so bad. I'm so dead. I gotta get used to the rampage inducer somehow though. And it's fun. I like the challenge. It's just, uh, I don't know if I wanna be put up with that challenge, the, the whole grind for this gun, all those hours. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that was good. I don't even get a hit. Next round, I can upgrade it. There we go. I'm gonna have to refill my ammo. And there's gonna be like one guy left, and I'm just gonna get max ammo. Oh boy. <laughs> Ether tool. Do I exfil? Let me see how much damage I do. That'll decide if I exfil or not. I could test my damage on the mangler. That's a good idea, right? All right, good to know. Yeah, we're exfilling. We are exfilling. How many headshots do I have? Okay, so if I can get to 200 and have a ratio where I go like, where I just do this 10 times, that wouldn't be that bad. Do I have to hold that to call exfil? Oh my God. Oh my God, I have to turn off the rampage inducer. Put me up. Bro. <laughs> help, help. Yeah, yeah, Gary Weaver goes meowing again. That's just awesome. No more rampage inducer. No, 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 no. Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's off, please. Please stop running. Exfil, exfil, exfil. Okay, I need to kill 35 zombies, got it. Am I gonna cut this close? 200 crits. That's pretty close, like 10 seconds left. Ah, that's pretty cool. I could do that a couple times. I might swap between that and other strategies, try a couple different things for this. Wait a minute, that's not the pistol I was using. That's an assault rifle. I think I just lost my challenge. <laughs> Only using one gun at a time from the start. Okay, 216. Nice. That, that wasn't that bad. It's gonna take a while though. Like it's gonna take a really long time. Now I can do some gunsmithing. I'll keep using it. Wait a minute, that goes crazy. Wait, that goes crazy. Can I use this to, to do my dead shot Easter egg? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna build a little sniper. You can't stop me. Yeah, I'll put the extended mag on it. Why not? This is probably a mistake. <laughs> it's probably such a mistake. I don't know what I think about the scope. I think it zooms in too much. But dead shot though. Actually, that makes me wonder. Couldn't I just buy the one off the wall over there? I could. And it upgrades the rarity too. Ow. I'm being abused. Help. Like, okay. I understand that uh, 
in lore, you're supposed to be here as like a whole team. But let's just think about it this way. They dropped me off alone. Man missing an eye, right? Like, they, they dropped effectively like a crippled person off with a pistol and like a couple bullets and said, you know what? H have fun. Used a whole helicopter to get him here too, which isn't cheap. So they, they actively went out of their way to allow a disabled man to fight this many zombies by himself with a pistol. That's crazy. Also, I think I learned something else. I think there's a place right there where I can spend my salvage. Yeah, there it is. Right, I, I heard that you can like... It works, yeah, if you dolphin dive into a perk when you buy it, it skips the animation. Like, here, I'll do it again. <laughs> That's so cool. Make my way to Deadshot. Or at least attempt to Deadshot, right? Like, <laughs> this is definitely not guaranteed. I just gotta lower the zombie count first. Oh, hello, surprise! And attempt this and now to attempt it i'm actually gonna go in here and slide my fov all the way in oh that seems very possible where's the zombie okay first attempt at getting dead shot actually correct i hit it did i i literally hit that like i like i shot it man I'm, I'm not that bad am i maybe i am maybe i suck you know what by the end of this pistol i swear i'm gonna get that thing at least once i think crowd freeze is stealing my kills I'm gonna have to take it off. I think it's stealing crits. Problem solved, and my gun's blue now. Oh, that's something to note. I know before I mentioned that in World at War, like, the heads being blown off zombies and them still chasing you was a bug, right? But in World at War, they could still attack you without a head. I don't think they can hit you once their head is gone in this. Like, no, they can't. That's really interesting. I mean, World of War had a lot of quirks in it, in it, bruv, but it had a lot of quirks in it. Uh, one of which being, they didn't want somebody getting down to block off a doorway for the rest of their team, right? So they added something called the shove mechanic, and it would allow zombies to, like, push you, right? When you're down, or in general, they could just push you, which had a lot of, like, collision issues in the game. I don't think they've had that since, like, if a zombie walks into me, I don't get, I don't, I don't move. It doesn't do anything. But in World of War, they could, like, push you through things, they could do a lot of funky stuff. I wonder... As well for the easter egg over at the church if you go past round 10 if there's a point where it gives you like a purple or a legendary either tool no idea i think the sweet spot even if it did unless like the purple's at like round 15 i think the sweet spot is probably to just get the blue ether tool from it why not oh here let me activate x fill i'm coming yeah 400 okay so we're on track to have 200 at a time that's good maybe i will just do this the whole time seems like a good system a little different than my uh than what i've been doing in the bowling alley I like to change it up and since this gun can't be back a bunch you know i kind of had to change it up because i'm not going to be going to round the high 30s i'm not going to be going into the high 30s with this thing there's no chance absolutely no freaking way erm i hope i don't get screwed over by zombie spawn like that <laughs> like what if i fail x filter they're just not being a zombie there i wonder what weaver's pitch is to hq and he's like Tr trust me i gotta go in there i'm gonna kill like 200 something zombies with my pistol and you're gonna waste all that fuel in your helicopter to bring me there and back trust me it i'll get paint from it it's gonna do five times what i've done i will be getting dead shot daiquiri okay i will be i will be doing it i've got eight more attempts with this pistol oh, hello wish i got that during the double points Oh yeah, speaking of which, I learned something. Here, let me go do it real quick. So apparently every map in this game has hidden power-ups around the map. And one of them is right there. The Z, the points one. This gives you free points. Should probably grab that during a double points, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. I'm gonna die real quick, hold up. Bug. So I'm gonna cheat again and throw my FOV into 60. Hmm. Scope sway. Scope sway, I see. So yeah, it's a skill issue. That's the problem. How am I going to remedy that? Am I am I gonna be able to? I don't know. <laughs> Have I even unlocked my last pistol? I don't even know if I've unlocked my last pistol. I need to check what level that unlocks at. That could be a problem. Well, not really. I'll just use these pistols and grind out their attachments, I guess, until I unlock the last pistol if I need to. We will see. All right, what am I getting in the roll this time? Looks like a um, barrel attachment and a scope. Doesn't look like any kind of special mag. I wonder if the rarity of a gun has anything to say about its attachment count. Like, will a legendary gun have more attachments on average than a uncommon gun? Buy four, get one free. Only 36... Oh, is that cents? I thought that was $36 each. <laughs> this is about to admire the, uh, the accuracy on the inflation there. Assuming this takes place in the US, which I think it does. 
I'm pretty sure this is this feels like the US as a US resident, though I haven't been to another country before, so I couldn't tell you. There's no way other countries are this similar. Like that's just, that just yells US. This has to be the United States. Oh, I know one way to check. No, that's not the US. That'd be like six bucks. Is it? Is it like? Do I have to use my melee weapon? It is. So I have to knife it. Oh, I see. So the gun punch doesn't work. It actually has to be your melee weapon. I will say, though, having a dedicated melee slot is really cool. Like, really cool. Even some previous games, when you could swap out your melee weapon, it would just affect your punch. Right, how, right now, how it's butting with my weapon, but in this game, you have your punch, and then you have an actual melee weapon that you can pull out that, that, that has different stats depending on the weapon you have equipped. Like, the melee weapon you have equipped will do something different. Oh, that's kind of early for 200, for an extra 200. Okay, so I am actually, like, ahead of the ground by quite a bit. I think this will only take nine runs. I don't think it's gonna take the full ten. Still green? Gonna go blue, please? That gun's blue. Also, wait a minute. What kind of scope is on that thing? Is that, is, should that be how I do Deadshot? What, what's this thing got? Give me a scope, please. Wow, okay, that's garbage. I mean, that's a cool scope, but it's not going to help me get dead shot. Good to know. Still freaking green. I'll buy a different one. Hey, maybe that'll maybe that'll inspire it to change. Better itself, maybe. Still green on round 13. Okay. I don't know why I keep thinking it's going to change. It's not. It's actually a mid. It's never been blue. I think I was just colorblind the last two games. Also, the manglers are intelligent, right? Like, they speak. So there's zombies who have retained their intelligence to an extent. I wonder what their story is. I don't know anything about manglers other than them looking freaking sick. Okay, we're going to round 14. Are you gonna, gonna turn blue? You cannot be serious. <laughs> What's this scope swing on this thing? Non-existent. Oh, maybe I go for dead shot. Right there. Oh my god, I literally hit that. I literally hit that. Like, I am perfect. I'm an immaculate species. What did I just- what does that mean? That just, that just means like humans in general? What? I, I think I meant to say specimen, but then that sounds like I'm an experiment. I don't know. The good throw of a grenade though. I- you know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna lay my prediction out. Every- so like let's say 10 rounds is a break point. Like there will be break points where it- where certain things are allowed to happen. I think round 10 is when things on the wall are allowed to be blue. And then from then on, every round, it gives one of the wall buys blue status. Or two or something. Like it gives a couple of them. And it's entirely random. And then I think there's another break point for like purple and legendary. And they just go one at a time or two at a time or something. And I just- I think it's completely- completely random which ones get affected that's what it seems like come on it feels so wrong being this zoomed in it feels awful wow okay i know the problem it's not a skill issue my pistol's inaccurate let's go exfil though nice we're gonna go do that we're gonna do that right now this is gonna be cutting it close, I can already tell. My damage just isn't there. I'm just gonna spam the whole time. Oh, I'm fine. I was worried for nothing. Mm, it's still it's just, it's just kinda close. I had like nine seconds left. I mean, not gonna lie, this still got close, but but we're good. Maybe round 16's where it's at. I don't know if X feels guaranteed for round 16 or not though. Hello, goodbye. Oh my god, oh my god, no. No, what have I done? No. <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. That was that was awful. It's terrible. The devs are mean. Are you able to do that every round, I wonder? Yeah, let's go a thousand. Woo! Okay, I can get freaking concussed every single round. Good to know. I just took damage for that falling zombie. That zombie fell on my face. I actually took damage. That that boy hit me. But yeah, the, the reason I'm so excited about Shadow Rift, the ammo mod, is because this is what it does. Like, it just does that passively to people. Like, that that's its effect. It drops people from the skybox. Or I guess, um, things that used to be people. Is that another insult? No, it's a nuke. Of course it's a nuke. It's always a nuke. I swear there's an actual, like, rarity system to the, to the power-ups in this game specifically. It's like, max ammo will almost never drop outside of a uh, bug round, you just won't see it. Like it is non-existent almost. I think I've seen it like twice ever, but the bomb every round, you'll get that thing every round. Like it's always there. The nuke is eternal. You know, in previous games, insta-kill wasn't that sought after because it would reduce the income. 
Like, you'd make way less money, because every single time you hit a zombie, you'd get like 10 points. And you'd just get tons of points with that insta kill. But in this game, you're only given money when the zombie dies, so you, you gain no extra money from uh, blasting them. Insta kill is just straight, directly a great power up now. There's no drawbacks, absolutely none. And with all the boss zombies that drop now, and the fact that it increases damage against them, insta kill is just insane. Max ammo is not that great anymore because you just buy ammo. Like, insta kill might be the best power up. This isn't as painful as I imagined. It's still awful. Like, don't get me wrong. This is probably the worst camo grind in the entire game. Like, it's dreadful. I'm not going to say it's not the worst because I think it actually is provably the worst, but I don't know. I'm coping. I'm coping. It's pretty bad. I think round 16 X fill is like a sweet spot. This is when the gun really starts to fall off. And I cannot stress again. As soon as you pack this thing, it is an absolute powerhouse. Too bad I'm not allowed to use it packed. The the person in Treyarch, whoever decided that that is was a good idea, they need some help. I don't know. Like they they are they, they have some problems. I don't know if it's a problem at home, like a family problem, or if it's their own fault, but they have problems. If you look at other explosive weapons, right? The launchers just require kills. They they don't require headshots. Headshots are nowhere in their description. Right, so why why not uh, why not expand that one to this thing, huh? Why not? It becomes explosive. Like, please, come on. That's just mean. You know, I'm gonna leave Rampage Inducer on. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna leave it on. I want to see if I can extract with Rampage Inducer on. Worst case, I don't. Anybody in these cars? Oh, oh we got a visitor. Hello, how's it going, sir? How was your day? I am by Napalm Burst. I'm just I'm committed. I'm surviving. Wait, can I just ignite him and still get a crit kill? Can you still get crit kills with napalm burst? That's sick. That's awesome. If that's actually what happened. Yes, it is. You can get he headshots with napalm burst. Okay, well, I'm just buying napalm burst every single time. Hello? It just makes manglers easier and armored zombies easier. That's all it does. Man, my gun's not going to do any damage if I don't exfil now. I have to exfil. I'll exfil with the rampage inducer on at least. Or I'll die right before. <laughs> right before they all get nuked anyway. Oh, that's like comedic, poetic timing. Only 300 crit kills for that too. Oh yeah, only 300 more. I'm gonna get those in one run. My goal this run is to finish the gun. Do my rounds. Gotta check my car friend. No guys there. Hello. Good morning, sleepyhead. You're not here? What? Also, yeah, that is a spawn that I didn't know about. So the car one isn't guaranteed, huh? That's unfortunate. My friend has been there with me the whole grind. Oh my god, why am I actually tearing up? Is like Hollywood levels of fake crying there. I actually, I don't know if you know this, I don't care about the person in the car, but I made a mental connection to it, and I like started an involuntary cry. Like there are tears coming out of my eyes. What the heck? It's so weird. My brain was telling me this is so sad. We've been through so much together. All these rounds, all these evacs, and you're gone. You're not there. <laughs> <laughs> now that I called myself out on it, the tears are gone. So weird, like I acknowledge it and then it just goes away. Another fun little in intricacy of World at War that I believe was only present in World at War. Zombies used to be able to do this like helicopter attack. It was tied to the their ability to push the uh, shoving that I talked about before. So sometimes they'd push you and then just get another hit in and then get another hit in and they could kill you in like half a second. Or sometimes they would just not be able to hit you when they're pushing you and they'd have a really long cooldowns between hitting you. It led to this weird situation where your health felt weird. You'd have sometimes where you have a jug and you get killed in an instant. Like you just get freaking comboed. Or another time where you don't even have jug and the zombie just kind of sits there. It's like, eh, eh. I mean, and then you die, but yeah. Also the health regen on jug just led to uh, like your health feeling random in that game. I don't think it was ever like that after, but it, it was really strange to anyone who played that game. Like it, it would just wouldn't make sense when you go down sometimes it felt. It'd be extra careful of the zombies. You don't know if it's one that's just going to wombo combo you in an instant or one that's gonna let you survive the whole time just chilling with it i'm also debating uh someone had asked me over twitter to make a discord and i'm debating doing that not sure if i will but if i do i'll mention it in one of the uh, next videos and link it in my description probably from then on my problem with having a discord is i don't think i'd have enough moderation <laughs> For a discord and i know that uh there's a lot of weird people on discord so i wouldn't want to subject people to deal with those weird people or create a space where they're allowed to i don't know we'll see if i can get enough like bots or moderation on it we'll see 
We'll see, maybe. It'd be nice to have a place where people can uh, talk within the community. Or to create a community, because, I mean, let's be real, I'd far too small of a creator to properly have a community. It'd be nice to make one, though. Give people a place to hang out, talk about, maybe give people a place to look to play games together. Because I know when I made uh, Lethal Company videos, a lot of people uh, talked about how they had issue finding like, groups to play together in the comments. I don't know, maybe a Discord would help remedy that. Old Flea's gonna pay a visit to my friend. There we go. <laughs> I, do, how are you able to see me at all times? Honest question. Do you just have like cameras everywhere? Is he creeping on me? Hey, what's up? Oh my god, he's juking me. He's been practicing parkour. They're learning. Oh no. I do not look forward to the 300 hip fire kills. But I'm very close to having to do them. Shooting or sorry, not shooting range. Bowling alley, my beloved. Shooting range. Calling a bowling alley a shooting range is truly an American thing to do. That is crazy. Nice. The Canadian prestige. Or not prestige level. I just tried to build that barrier instinctively. Let's go and I hit fire. I just need 300 kills like this. Just spam away. It's so annoying that I'm not allowed to pack a bunch of it. Even for the hip fire kills. It's crazy. Like, this part's a bug. This part is unintentional. Like, I'm sure you're supposed to get the hip fire kills with pack a bunch, but that, it, it doesn't work. It, apparently, it, it doesn't work. Oh my god, the insta kill is so nice for that. This is a point that where it would be really nice to have a Kimbo, but I don't have it unlocked yet. One of the huge problems of uh, of this whole challenge, starting guns at level 1 and trying to get them to Nebula, is I, I don't have any gun attachments at all. No Akimbo, no nothing. And by the time I'm done with the camo, I still am not going to have a Kimbo. Oh, whenever I click tab, it shows insta kill being at max again. That's the bug. Interesting. Oh, that's got to get fixed. That's... That's pretty awful, because I have no idea how long it'll last, because I opened a tab. I click tab again, it's max again. It just blinks still, I guess. So strange. At least that's probably a really easy bug to fix. I've got to be getting near near done now, right, with the campfire kills. Just 300 of them. Okay, I'm actually going to check how close I am, because I need to know if this is even working. Oh my god, you can't be serious. I'm like right there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let's go. Oh, wait, that's a rare hire. I still need to hit fire kills. Never mind. That's like, man. <laughs> yeah, I got baited. Unkind game. Well, that means I'm close. Maybe that's it right there. Yeah, we can pack a bunch. We can pack a bunch. Freedom. Freedom at last. And you know what? I'm also going to buy this because I'm going to need it. Oh, yeah. Oh, the abomination's getting freaking destroyed. That's exciting. Look at that! That's not even fair! That's not even fair! This thing's so crazy. My god, the power difference. This thing is actually like a power trip. It's so freaking strong. Okay, I just gotta run around in here for long enough that I can get my multi-kills, and it should take a couple seconds because uh, this boy is explosive. Oh, that feels so nice to be done with. Oh, it's exciting. Oh no, a mangler. Whatever will I do? Oh, it's dead. That's crazy. Oops. Oh, another mangler. Oops. Anyways, <laughs> this thing is so good. This thing is absurd. There's one shot of mangler. I mean, I didn't see kill, but still. Ah, I got Mr. Gold. Oh, the difference between this thing pack a bunch and not. There's an exfil available. Can I still make it to it? Without PhD, though, I would have killed myself on repeat with this thing. There's actually like an abomination and stuff here. What's so, up? At least he's not a problem. All right, and just get on out of here. God, that's such a good gun. So trash and so amazing at the same time. It's absolutely criminal that they require you to get the headshots with the stock gun without pack a bunch or anything. It's just so insane. I kind of see it because the Mystic Gold is, is really a reward for all that struggle. More so on this gun than anything else, I believe. Because the, the pack a bunch version is just, it's basically a wonder weapon. Let's be real. It's so freaking good. Oh, that's a massive weight off my chest getting that thing done mystic gold look at that thing that was mystic gold on probably one of if not the best weapons in the game since i can't do the strider 22 next game hmm 
Yeah, since I can't do the Strider 22 next game, next time, I think I'm gonna do the knife. We'll see. Or I'll do something else. I don't know. Anyway, I am glad to have that thing over. That was pain. I don't think anything is that bad in the rest of the grind. So, I guess we'll find out though. Anyway, I will see you next time.